Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.1 update. So this is going to be a follow up preview. And in this video, I'm going to talk about battery life and the performance because many of you were commenting on the previous video wherein I posted how to download and, you know, the new features of iOS 16.1. You know, you guys were talking about, you know, how's the battery life and the performance. Are there any, you know, visual changes or the bug fixes or not? So in this video, I'll talk about the battery life and performance i'll mostly focus on the performance and the bug fixes and the battery life but apart from that i will talk about some of the features i mean the new features that comes with ios 16.1 that i missed talking about on the initial video so make sure you watch this video till the end and with that being said let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general and about section so if i tap on the ios version as you can see it says ios 16.1 so the new build number is 20 b82 now remember that if you are on ios 16 you should definitely get ios 16.1 update and now with that being said uh, you know you already know that this update comes with a new modem firmware so if you are having some network connectivity issues and if you are on previous ios then definitely do update now let's talk about some of the new features that i missed talking about on the earlier video so if you go here and click on focus as you can see there are already predefined focus dnd sleep personal work and i have created one more focus so now there are new pictures with the focus mode if i click on this plus and if i click on this driving as you can see there's a new animation or you could say there's a new image for driving now if i click on this plus symbol and again click on this fitness as you can see there's a new image for fitness right so again if i click on this plus and if i click on this gaming so there's a gaming focus i mean a uh, different image is available so it was not there with ios 16.0.2 or the earlier versions of ios now with ios 16.1 this new images are available now one more thing uh, you know many people uh, have asked me and i forgot to tell you that there's a change in the wallpaper section as you can see now the wallpaper section looks a little different if you want to set a new wallpaper you have to click on the add new wallpaper and then you can set the new wallpaper let's suppose i want to put this on and then you have to click on add and at the same time you can customize the wallpaper for example if i click on add as you can see there's a separate tab for setting up the wallpaper pair or customize the home screen so the same thing is available from here and from the lock screen as well so if i just show you the lock screen if you tap here as you can see the customize option you can separately customize the lock screen and the home screen as well so that option was there now let's talk about quickly about the battery life so i've been using this for like last four to five days or more than that so if i click on the battery and battery health and charging so many people have asked me this question there's this clean energy charging this option is available i told on my initial video that this is a region specific feature and also on uh, some of the iphones this uh, feature is there in some of the iphone this is not but this does not actually means a lot because you know in some of the countries clean energy charging although you turn it on it actually doesn't make any sense so in your iphone if you don't see this clean energy charging don't get upset there's nothing you know new with this clean energy charging at least a country like india now if i go back let's talk about the battery life here so as you can see i last charged my iphone uh, and it was charged till 80 percent and for that i am still getting a screen on time of 6 hour 22 minutes and screen off time of 20 minutes and these are the application that i have been using so on top instagram then youtube lot of social media application and then i did browsing for a little bit and then youtube gmail things like that now if i talk about last 10 days on an average i've been getting 5 hour 14 minutes of screen on time and you know 3 hours of 43 minutes of screen off time let's go a little bit deeper so if i take up example of yesterday so yesterday i used my phone till about 70 percent and for that i have gotten a screen on time of 6 or 11 minutes and screen off time of 27 minutes now day before that if i can show you the similar uh, you know battery usage can be seen here as well 
so for that as well i have gotten a screen on time of 3 hour 31 minutes so before that 4 hour 47 minutes so a similar pattern can be seen so all these days i have used my phone till about 50 to 60 percent and for that i have gotten a screen on time of between 5 to 7 hours which is actually good now so the average screen on time for last 10 days came in about you know if i talk about the last day 6 hour 11 minutes so i will definitely say the battery life is better than ios 16.0.2 so i would suggest if you are having some battery drain issue or battery life if you feel on your iphone is not actually up to the mark then i would suggest updating to ios 16.1 to be honest, iOS 16.1 battery life is little better than the previous iOS 16.0.2. That's the case with my iPhone 13. Now let's talk about the performance a little bit. There's no issue with the performance, but there's one thing that I mentioned in the video before I posted. So there's an animation lag once you open an application and while closing the application, there's a slight delay you can see with the animation. So if I open any application, like suppose Instagram or something, and while closing the application, and there's a slight animation lag is there so right now it's not happening in front of the camera but it happens five out of ten times right so i have you know mentioned this and i was pretty much disappointed that this issue is not still resolved with latest ios 16.1 update and not only me i have you know searched through the internet and the youtube or like me many people are facing this issue on the latest iphone even on iphone 14 and 14 pro and 14 pro max the same issue is here so definitely apple is noticing it and hopefully fingers crossed they will be able to fix this issue with the you know upcoming ios 16.2 update or whatever the uh, update they plan to push out now let's take a look at this geekbench score so i showed the scores on the initial video as well so now after using it for a few days this the scores are similar the single core score came in about 1730 and the multi-core score came in about 4332 now let me know in the comment section below if you have geekbench 5 let me know the scores in the down below in the comment section in that way i'll also get an idea how your iphone is performing with ios 16.1 there's no issue with the performance as you know this is a stable series of updates so no more issues apart from the issue that i really specifically talked about that you know while closing out of the settings or any application while you just you know try to go to the home screen there's a slight delay you know there's an animation lag sometimes that is you know noticeable you go to any settings any application and while closing that you know there's a slight animation lag that you can see it happens as i said before it happens five out of ten times so in front of the camera it's not happening but I've showed this actually on the previous video while I was recording the video it fortunately happened and I was able to show that so with the help of this video I just wanted to talk about the iOS 16.1 update performance and the battery life and what are the bugs still are there with iOS 16.1 let me know in the comment section whether still you are using iOS 16.0.2 or you have already updated to iOS 16.1 and how is the battery life for your iPhone on iOS 16.1 let me know that in the comment section below and that's it for this video I hope you have enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you on my next video bye bye